In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this professional business card. Let's set up the page. For unit, choose inches. Use those dimensions and from here choose RGB. And for artboard, use 2. And OK. Now from toolbar, select rectangle tool. And remove the outlines, change the fill color and draw two rectangles over both the artboard. Now select them both and lock it. Now let's work on the first artboard. So from toolbar, select rectangle tool, change the color. By pressing and holding shift key, draw a rectangle. Now double click over rotation tool and from here give 45 degree and OK. Now select this rectangle and drag it to the right bottom corner. Now select this rectangle and increase the size by pressing and holding shift key. And from here make duplicate. Press and hold shift and alt key, drag inside and make it smaller in size. Change the color so that it would be visible. Repeat the steps. Drag inside by pressing and holding shift key. And change the color. Repeat the steps once again. Change the color. Now select this and remove fill color and give outlines and from here increase the stroke of the outlines like this. Now select the dark green color and from here do copy paste in place and increase the size by pressing and holding shift key and send it to back. Now unlock it and send this to back. Select it and change the color. Now select this rectangle and lock it from here. Now select those shape and drag it by pressing and holding Alt key and make duplicate. Similarly, drag once again by pressing and holding Alt key and make one more duplicate. Select the middle shapes and arrange it and send it to front. Now from here you can use transparency. Now select the shapes, unmark those we don't need by pressing shift key and drag it by pressing and holding alt key and bring it to the second artboard and make duplicate. Select all the objects of first artboard, take shape builder tool, press and hold alt key, drag it and delete those parts. Similarly, select all the objects of second artboard, take shape builder tool, press and hold alt key and delete them.
Let's draw an axis on second artboard and align it to the center. Select the objects, click on reflection tool, press and hold alt key, drag the center to the axis and copy. Let's draw a few rectangles over both the artboard. Change the color. Drag it and cover the second artboard too. Now press and hold Alt key, drag it and make duplicate. Ctrl plus D to repeat the shape. Now draw a rectangle on the midst of both the artboard. Select all the yellow objects, then take Shape Builder tool, press and hold Alt key and delete it. Do selections of yellow rectangles by pressing and holding Shift key. and do right click and send it to back now send this to back unlock all the objects of second artboard now send this to back now change the color so already i have few colors you can choose it from there itself so already I am using those colors because uh, or else it will take lots of time to match up the color. Similarly, change the color of the second artboard. Now fill the business card with details. So if you would like to know how to make this logo I am using on this business card, you can check on description. I will uh, share the link at the top and save this business card in transparent PNG so that we can apply it for mockup and save it on desktop similarly select the second artboard and from here again uh, save it in transparent PNG Now open your Photoshop CC or CS6 and choose the mockup. So I'll share the link of mockup in description. You can download it from there. Now open our PNG transparent business card images that we saved in desktop and OK. Now click over mockup file, double click here and drag our images over mockup file. Now drag our image 
and uh, fill the complete page by using shift key unmark those background close it yes and you can check it here similarly for next one also double click and uh, drag our next image and fill the mockup page by dragging and pressing shift key mark it unmark the background close it yes and now you can check the complete mockup hope you like this tutorial you can subscribe us and share this video thank you for watching